The Lumiere Festival in Lyon has awarded its 2020 annual prize to the Dardenne brothers, succeeding last year's winner, Francis Ford Coppola. The actress, Emily de Ken, discovered by the brothers for their 1990 film Rosetta, paid tribute to them. It's obvious that, with an identity that is specific to the brothers, they make cinema that is unique in its field. May the light be with the brothers. The brothers are double Palme d'Or winners and authors of a body of work that will go down in cinema history. They were greeted with a song by their Belgian compatriot Jacques Brel. Moving, overwhelming. We had Vassoul, but Lyon we'd never seen. The Prix Lumière, the Lumière Prize, is like the cinematic equivalent of the Nobel Prize for Literature. They spoke to Euronews about their connection to the inventors of the cinematograph and the honour of receiving the Lumière Prize. This prize is awarded to us in the city of Lyon, where cinema was invented given to us by the Lumière Institute. And since the Lumière were two brothers, it's extra special for us, as we're also two brothers. So we can't help but think that there's a small link between the Lumière brothers and us. What's great about this prize is that it's unique. You can't get it twice. You can get other prizes twice, but you can't get the Lumière prize twice. The Dardenne brothers are filmmakers who've always tried to be as close as possible to reality, and their characters are often from the margins. Their latest film, which won an award at Cannes in 2019, Le Jeune Ahmed or The Young Ahmed, tells the story of a radicalized youth who tries to stab his teacher, resonating with current affairs. The festival Lumière hosted 23 films from the official selection of Cannes 2020, which didn't take place physically this year, including the film Another Round by Thomas Vinterberg, one of the guests of honour, and recently winning awards at the San Sebastian and London film festivals. This festival is particularly important right now, I guess, because people are hiding back in their sofas, and he, Thierry, is fighting to get people back into the theatres for this collective experience in the darkness. And it couldn't make more sense than doing that here in this uh, town of Lumière, where everything started. Back to the very roots of cinema, but also looking to the future, as with the preview of Slalom by French director Charlene Favier, also selected in Cannes. What a pleasure to get Thierry Frommel's phone call announcing the official selection. That's a bit crazy for a first film. It gave us the seal of approval we needed to be a little bit more legitimate. Slalom is a semi-autobiographical film about sexual harassment in sport, written years before the Me Too movement, with Jeremy Renier, one of the actors discovered by, coincidentally, the Dardenne brothers. And as tradition dictates at the festival, the Dardenne brothers also shot their homage to the Lumière brothers' first film, Workers Leaving the Lumière Factory from 1895, with Emily de Ken on the luggage rack of a moped.